Hi friends, today we're going to read another story and this story is called Sam Helps Recycle. And this is Sam. What is Sam? Is he a person? No, Sam's a dog. Sam's a dog, but he wants to help his family to recycle. But Sam gets worried, <gasps> worried. Because in the recycling bin, he sees his dog bowl. He sees the dog bowl and he goes, what's gonna happen to my food bowl? So he follows the recycling all the way to the recycling center to see what's gonna happen to his food bowl. So let's see what happens. Are you ready? I have a story, what could it be? I have a story, what could it be? I have a story, what could it be? Sit right down and you will see. This story is called Sam Helps Recycle. Helps Recycle. Hi, my name is Sam. I'm helping Maya and her mom recycle our trash. I hear Maya calling me now. Got to go. Woof. Look, do you see Sam there? There's Sam. And there's Maya and her mother, and they're recycling their trash. So do you see they have special pieces of trash to recycle, like bottles and paper and plastic, right? Let's see. Some of our trash goes into garbage cans. The rest goes into recycling bins. Maya has a big stack of newspapers ready. Wait a minute, I have to get that newspaper I hid behind the bushes. I'll add it to the stack. Cans and glass bottles are next. We put them into a separate bin. Hey, are they throwing away my dog food? Do you see his dog food cans there? He says, hey, are they throwing away my food? No, it's okay. These cans are already empty. He already ate the food in the cans. All the, all the trash that you have to recycle needs to be empty. You have to have all your trash empty and clean. So I see they have a bunch of newspapers they're going to recycle. And they have some glass bottles and jars. They have a couple of cans too. And all of them are empty and clean and ready to recycle. Plastic goes into the last bin. I run to get a bottle I left on the yard. I don't want to litter. When I come back, I get a surprise. <gasps> a surprise. <gasps> he feels surprised. My food bowl is in the recycling bin. <gasps> Do you see it? Do you see his food bowl in the recycling bin? I see it. I see his yellow food bowl. Let's see. Why are they throwing my food bowl away? Why do you think they're throwing his food bowl away? I think it looks a little broken. I think that maybe it's time for a new food bowl, huh? Before I can save my bowl, Maya calls me to get into the car. She says we're going to the recycling center. We're also bringing old batteries and unused paint. It's not safe to keep those things around. So they're bringing a bunch of stuff in their car to the recycling center. Do you have to bring your recycling to a recycling center? Do you have to put it in your car and bring it to the center? At my house, I don't have to bring it to the recycling center. I have a big trash can that the garbage truck comes to pick up with all the recycling. So I don't have to put it in my car, but do you have to put it in your car? You'll have to let me know. Let's see what the recycling center looks like. In some towns, sanitation workers pick up the trash one day and the recycling bins on another. Where we live, we do all of our recycling ourselves. Maya's mom starts the car. Here we go. Maya's mom says that each person in the United States produces more than four pounds of garbage a day. That's enough to make more than 60,000 truckloads of trash. I wonder, where does all that garbage go? What do you think? 
Do you wonder about where all that garbage goes? Where does all that garbage go? <gasps> Look, I soon find out. We drive by a huge landfill. My nose can smell it from a mile away. He smells it. Oh, do you think it smells good? Probably not. It probably smells very stinky. Maya's mom tells us that the landfill is a deep hole dug in the ground. It has a lining of clay and plastic at the bottom. The lining keeps the rotting garbage from leaking into the groundwater. There are big bulldozers. Do you see the big bulldozers? Those are the big yellow trucks. Do you see the big yellow bulldozers? I see them. They are pushing huge piles of garbage that have been dumped at the landfill. The trucks pack it down with their wide tires. So they're pushing the trash and they're packing it down. They're pushing it down and squishing it down to make it more compact so it's smaller. I've heard Maya say that there's just too much trash to put in landfills. That's why we have to recycle paper, plastic, cans, and bottles. All of these things can be reused and turned into new things. I'm glad that we're at the recycling center, but I'm still worried about my food bowl. Hmm. I watch while some people put their newspaper into a big container. Then Maya and her mom dump their newspaper too. My paper goes in too. So here at the recycling center, they have a special place for paper. So they have a special trash can just for paper. A sanitation worker comes over to pet me. He tells Maya that recycling paper saves a lot of trees and lots of energy too. He explains that our recycled paper gets packed into big bales that go to a paper recycling factory. So look at all those big bricks of paper. Those are big bales of paper. That's all recycled paper that's been smashed down. It's paper that's been used already and people recycle it. They bring it to the sanitation workers and they smash it down so they can take it to the recycling factory. At the factory, the old paper is turned into pulp and that goes through a machine that turns out miles of new paper every day. So do you see all that new paper? That new paper came from all of the smashed up old used paper. So that's why we recycle the paper so it can become new paper. Next, Maya's mom adds our bottles and cans to a big pile. A front end loader scoops them up and dumps them into the back of a truck. It makes a horrible racket, a horrible noise, a racket. I wish I could cover my ears. Look, he's saying, yelp, because his ears hurt, because it makes a horrible racket or a noise, a really loud, horrible noise. The worker says that the bottles and cans will go to a sorting facility that separates the glass and the metal. Then they go to separate factories to be recycled. So look, they're, they're sorting out the cans and the glass to recycle. At one factory, the glass bottles are crushed and melted into a liquid. Then the liquid glass is poured into molds to make new bottles and other products. So look at all those really hot red bottles. Those are new bottles being made from all of the recycled glass that we turn in. The cans are taken to a different place. Before they leave the sorting center though, they are crushed together into bales. Then they are taken into a factory that recycles metal. Recycled cans are made into new cans and can be recycled all over and over again. So when you have a recycled can, like a soda that you drink, you can put it in the recycling and then they can make it into a new can all over again. Maya's mom unloads the plastic last. 
I see my food bowl sitting on top of the pile. Do you see it? Do you see his yellow food bowl sitting on top of the pile? Look at him. He goes, oh, that's mine. The worker tells us that the plastic bottles take up a lot of space in some landfills. They may never decompose or waste away. That's why it's really important to recycle plastic. Plastic like water bottles and plastic containers, we have to recycle them so then that way they can be reused. He says that the plastic is sent from the recycling center to a factory. First, the plastic is cleaned, then it is chopped up into pieces. Finally, it is melted down and made into new plastic products. So they have to recycle the plastic to make new plastic products. But what about his food bowl? What do you think? Let's see. On our way home, I worry about my yellow bowl, but I still feel good about recycling. When I go into the house, I get a great surprise. Maya shows me a new red bowl. She points out the recycling symbol on the side as she fills it with food. Look at Sam, he looks so happy. Yip, yip, he says. He's so happy to have a new bowl so he doesn't have to worry about his old bowl anymore. While I am eating, Maya and her mom talk about other recycled products. Maya's notebook comes from recycled paper, and some of the clothes are made from recycled plastic. Even some playground surfaces are made from old tennis shoes and rubber tires. So if you have the squishy ground at your playground like we do at school, those are made from old tennis shoes and rubber tires. They've been recycled to make ground. After I finish my food, I head straight for my doggy bed for a nap. Recycling is a lot of work, but it is worth it. Look at him. He looks so happy that he recycled. So in this story, Sam helps to recycle a lot of things. Do you help recycle at your house? Do you help to recycle? Some things don't go in the trash. Some things like cans. When they're empty and clean, this doesn't go in the trash. It goes in the recycling bin. It goes in the recycling bin. Some things like glass containers, like this one was for my pasta sauce. When it's empty, I clean it out, and this can be recycled into new glass. And plastic, a plastic container, and paper. We can recycle all of these things in the recycling plan because then they can be turned into new things, just like Sam did and Maya and her mom. They brought all their things to recycle. So you're going to have to tell me what things do you recycle? What things at your house do you look for to recycle? I can't wait to hear. I'll see you guys real soon.